National Cinco de Mayo Festival. We're having a great time, and I'm here with Isabella Copeland, who's actually the volunteer coordinator for the festival, and also the daughter of somebody very much responsible and involved for the festival. Isabel, tell me about your mother and how she got involved and how you got involved. Give us a little history and taste of what's going on at this festival. Well, Mara Montero, my mother, actually started her own dance company in 1992, the year I was born, and me and the company just grew along with it. Her passion for dancing has always been around. As a child, she was with the Mexican Folkloric Dance Company. She traveled across the world and her passion just increased. And when she moved to Washington, D.C. with my dad, she settled down and decided that the, the nation needs to know about Mexican dance, about Mexican culture. And so for 16 year, 17 years, we've been increasing the ambiance of this festival and up to this year it's been great every year it's been great we have children's crafts and food and performances as you can hear in the background it's been great and how did you get involved how early were you involved and when did you actually get deemed the volunteer coordinator and what do you do as the volunteer coordinator who volunteered this year well actually I've pretty much been involved since I could speak I've been giving input when since I was a toddler and I was actually in some performances as a child and as soon as I got a big enough group of friends my mom recruited me to be the volunteer coordinator so every year I ask around 30 of my closest friends who are responsible and we get them here and do a series of eight or ten crafts and it's just really fun it's a family environment everyone helps out and it's great. So you've actually been involved since birth yes. <laughs> and now by choice helping out to make this festival as great as it is. Um, how have you seen over the years the, the change in crowds and, and this year what kind of crowd was here? Was it mostly Mexicans or have you seen a lot of culture? Um, what kind of people come to this festival? Actually there's a surprising amount of diversity. Um, it hasn't always been at this location but since we've been here the, ca the past couple of years there's been a, such a huge turnout. In years past we've had 20,000 people in a day. It's been fantastic. Fantastic, and the people, Mexican American, Mexicans who don't even speak English are here. But there's also, you know, every every race is identified here. Everyone's comfortable here. On Cinco de Mayo, everyone's Latino. That's right. Everybody's Latino. Hola, cómo está? <laughs> it's about the extent of my um, Mexican or Spanish that I could say. Well, what's uh, the one thing that is most inspiring to you, and especially the turnout that came here, even in the rain? We have lots of great people. What's the most inspiring thing about the day, and what do you think? Why is it important? You know, really, I think it's the sentiment of what goes into putting on this festival, and the really awe-inspiring passion that people come here with. They're just happy to see their nation represented finally in this nation where there's a lot of controversy about Mexican Americans and Mexican immigration it's just really nice to have a place that you can just be yourself and appreciate everything that is Mexican because it's really a great rich culture and last question you know Isabella is 16 years old and you, you're doing such a great job of coordinating oh, all these you. arts and crafts and events and things thank that are you. happening do you think eventually this responsibility that your mom has will be passed down to you and what what are your dreams for future Future festivals and how will you be involved wow, as an adult? Well, I think this has really trained me well. Like grant writing, I've been grant writing since I was 12. I think I'm going to be good no matter what I do. Public relations, it, like it opens so many doors. My mom has helped me so much, and I know that if I continue this festival or if I make it bigger or whatever I do with it, it's going to be something good. Well, that's great. Thank you so much for Thank joining us so and much. telling us a little bit about Thank the festival. You. We'll be back with Ryan in just a moment. He's enjoying some really great festivities and talking to some other people, including Isabella. <laughs> uh, we'll talk. I mean, uh, Isabella's mother. Maru Montero. Maru Montero. I can't pronounce it, but I'm very excited <laughs> to meet her. Okay, back to you, Ryan.